What's going on guys, Lobo Pixel here, back at it again with another video. And for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to hear your alerts from OBS through your desktop and your gameplay audio. This is something that took me a long time to figure out. I also ended up guiding other streamers to figure out this type of problem. It's very technical, but I'm gonna show you guys my settings and how I have everything set up so you guys can have a smoother experience. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Lobo Pixel. I am a Twitch streamer, experienced photographer, content creator, and I've been diving deep into the gaming content world. I've been really enjoying myself putting out content like this. If you're getting any type of value out of this video, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you would like to see more. Let's just get on with the video. I'm gonna pop up the green screen and we're gonna go straight to OBS right now. On every Windows desktop, there's a little section in the bottom right corner that has like a little uh, audio thing. This setting is usually set to headphones, for me at least, but if you want to be able to stream and listen to your alerts and the gameplay, you're gonna want to either switch it to default or digital audio. Some people have digital audio or default, either or it's fine, but that part is really important, so make sure to do that first. What you're gonna wanna do next is go to file, go to settings. As soon as you go to settings, this little window is gonna pop up, right? When this window pops up, you're gonna wanna go to audio, and this is the part that's really important where it says desktop audio you're going to want to put this either to digital audio which is what i have now or default so once you have this set up you're good to go next you're going to want to go to advanced monitoring device and put it on headphones this is the settings that i put that works for me just try to have this set up like that right Next, you're going to go to your desktop audio, which is here. It's going to pop up automatically, I believe, when you start OBS or whatever. This little settings cog wheel, right? You're going to want to go here and then go to advanced audio properties. This is this this little thing is your best friend. Let me tell you, this little window is going to pop up, right? If you want to hear everything, desktop and gaming, you're going to want to put these two things, monitor and output. This part is so important, man. You have no idea. Like... I was trinkling with all these buttons trying to figure out what I hear and what I don't hear and stuff. Make sure desktop audio, monitor and output, Elgato gaming capture, monitor and output, and you should be good from that point on. Right now, we're just on my desktop, right? So when I play the alert, which you're going to hear right now, I hear the alert because I have my headphones plugged into my PC. We're going to turn on the PlayStation. Well, now that we made it up into this part, remember that you're going to need a, at least a chat link cable from Elgato or some type of third party cable that plugs into your controller. So you'll be able to hear the gameplay audio. So when you have your chat link cable right now, there's no audio because um, there's nothing plugged in. Right. So what you need is a chat link Elgato cable right here. Right. It's a it's like a female to male. I don't really know the details, but I know that this one right here at the end goes into the controller and this one, your headphones can go in here. But this this is a problem. This usually is a problem with the console streamer. So if you plug in your headphones here, right, this is plugging into your controller. Right. But the thing is that when you plug in your headphones to this, you're not going to be able to hear any of your alerts. OK, the only way this works is if your headphones are plugged in to your PC, you're gonna still be able to hear your PlayStation even though this is plugged in. So once I plug it in, I plug it in, right? All right, so now I hear my PlayStation. I'm gonna play an alert, right? You guys should be able to hear that and I hear it as well. The only way this works, remember, Elgato Gaming Capture and Desktop Audio have to be on monitor and output. I'm gonna get my headphone, I'm gonna unplug it. All right, this is my headphones, right? Right here. Look, I'm going to plug it into the Elgato gaming capture, right? Now, I have it plugged in. I still hear the audio from the PlayStation, right? Once I play my alert, you guys will be able to hear, but I don't hear it at all. This only works if you have your headphones plugged into the PC, so you can hear both. Now, if you're trying to play online, and you're trying to play with friends and stuff, especially if it's like, let's say Fortnite or Call of Duty and you want to chat with your friends. Um, the only way for you to be able to chat is to have a separate mic or a headset with the mic, right? If you want to stream Fortnite or Call of Duty, right? My headset comes with another mic. I plug in this mic, right? I'm going to be able to chat with my friends and play with them while I have this mic plugged in, right? While this is all plugged in, I can hear them perfectly. 
but I'm not gonna hear my alerts. Maybe the stream will be able to hear it as well, but I still will not be able to hear it, which is which sucks because when someone is trying to follow you, show you support to your stream or whatever, you're not gonna be able to really pay attention because like you're playing and you're streaming and looking at chat. If I unplug this, right, I'm gonna unplug it from here and I plug it back into my PC, right? I hear everything perfectly and smooth, which is great. I prefer this. If the game is on the PC, it's a lot easier because you'll be able to use just one mic and you'll be able to hear everything. Be able to hear your chat, your desktop, stream, everything. You'll be able to hear everything, which is great. Please, just, you gotta mess with these settings, man. You gotta, you have to really mess with the game capture advanced audio properties. This is the most important part. This is the part that's gonna really help you understand why can't i hear anything we have desktop audio monitor off right i play it boom i don't hear a single thing but maybe the recording can hear it, or maybe you guys will be able to hear it i'm not really sure but to me i don't hear it now i'm gonna put it back to monitor and output this is the this section is what you need to play with and toy with the most so you can understand your audio settings and stuff and now i hear it i actually hear what's going on there right i'm just make sure that these two settings are the same and you should honestly from there be good. I want to say one more thing. Sometimes it just won't work. Sometimes you have to close OBS and then open it again. And then sometimes it will work. I had that problem before in the past, but rec recently I haven't had that problem. Maybe because they fixed it. Maybe it was a bug or something. I don't know. If it doesn't work, make sure to check all your audio settings from the beginning over here. Make sure that everything matches. What I mean by matches, I mean look at your desktop audio and make sure that this part of your desktop audio is matched with the audio on your desktop. Make sure it's the same. If that's the same, then you should be good. And there you guys have it. There's my full OBS Hear Your Own Alerts tutorial. I don't know if there's other methods of how to do it, but this is something that I learned for myself. I hope this video brought you some type of value. If it did, consider subscribing and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. If you guys have any questions, don't feel shy. Just put the comment down below and I'll try my best to answer your question. I will try my best to help you. I know it's a little complex and it's really kind of like there's a lot of buttons and stuff, but it's really all about experimenting that's how i learned how to do this myself the struggle was real guys i'm not gonna lie it took a long time it took me months and months and i tried so much research and i i, I maybe i found like one little detail on a reddit thread but it was just so hard to figure this out and i finally did it and it felt great i've had a lot of streamers ask me how do you do this how do you do that and i was like why not make a youtube video out of it and try to help people out maybe there's some people that are going through the same thing that i'm i went through and it's not a fun feeling believe me i decided to make this video for those people that need that type of help i also appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch this video thank you so much until next time i hope to catch you guys on the next video peace oh my fuck it's open. bro don't fail me now D what she can fly what the fuck she can fly dude bro what the Fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that is badass as fuck, dude! Oh no, bro. Oh my god. This looks. So oh my. It looks like so. I wanna play this. This looks so much fun.